Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I did not quit YouTube and I'm not gone forever, I've been just really busy and I also bought a house. But the topic of today's video is a Christmas light controller, which I designed and coded for a friend. He came with a question a few weeks ago of what should he do with his Christmas light village. Each house uses three AAA batteries and also the output of light between the houses is different. Furthermore, he said, when I dim the lights in my house, the village is a bit too bright for my liking. So with all these criteria in mind, I designed a board, so let's see of how it is constructed. The board has a standard USB-C input, a fuse to protect against shorts and a TVS to protect against voltage spikes. Furthermore, the board has two bus connectors, which allows you to daisy chain multiple boards together with the same power input. The brains of the board is an Arduino Nano that controls each six individual channels and each channel has two outputs which are the same. Furthermore, the board has a light dependent resistor connector for it so you can hook up a LDR in order to measure the light level in the room. And therefore the outputs can be compensated based on how dark or how bright it is in the room. And each channel can be trimmed so the light level of each individual Christmas house will be consistent across each other. Since I do not have the Christmas houses, I need to make a few dummies. So here is a quick solder montage. Now with the dummy soldered and plugged into the controller we can test the dimming feature. As you can see both the green and the amber LED respond to turning of the potentiometer. This allows to fix the variation in the light output. Here you can see the light sensor in action where the LED slowly dims when the lights turn off. Now the final ingredient to have a very lively feeling Christmas village is to dynamically change the power level of the LEDs based on random events. And this behavior of dynamically changing the power level continues at a lower brightness level when the lights turn off. And if you want to see the final result of this project and to see all the Christmas houses in action, then join me on part two, in which I will upload the results of this project. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in part two. Bye bye.